Hello everyone, I am your host Melee Wizard, and welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Circle of the Moon. If nothing else, it's at least the first of these Metroidvanias for the Game Boy Advance. I don't think it's the first one overall. I think uh, Symphony of the Night came first, but oh well. Without further ado, let's get things going. Uh, when I was officially, when I initially considering this game, I was... There are different versions of how to play this, but it basically requires you to beat the game multiple times. And beating the game three, four times is a bit much. And all the, most of the progress that I had made to that end was on my old computer. So that's <laughs> so much for that. So with that further ado, I guess we're just going to do play a, a standard game, I suppose. It is 1830. At an old Austrian castle from the worshippers of chaos rise the plea for the return of the Lord of Darkness. We crave the presence of the embodiment of suffering the ruler of darkness. Well, that was fast. I have waited for this moment to be awake again. To bask in darkness and feel the moonlight within. Count Dracula, I am honored to be in your presence. Indeed, though I lack my full power, we are preparing the right to replenish your power. Stop! You cannot be allowed to taint the world. You. I remember. You were one of the vampire killers that sealed me. Again. You've aged. It is our duty to see you banished. Amusing. To use my nemesis's life to return my power. I have no use for children. Be gone! Hugh! Nathan! Oh boy. Well, that's a quick way to get things moving. Yeah, for now. Yeah, that we were. Treated as non entities. He will learn from his mistake. Right. What? Just because you're his son means that you're the only one allowed to come go to try to find him? Uh. Anyway, one of the major mechanics of this game is that there is a card system that basically gives you various effects and unfortunately pretty much all of these cards are random drops from enemies so who knows how many of them I'll be able to find but I'll try to show off as many combinations as I can And I don't remember offhand which ones drop which which enemies drop which cards. And while there are some that I definitely would want to have, I don't. Well, hello. Receive the salamander card. And there it explains it right there. Although having the salamander card on its own doesn't really do me a whole lot of good. So I I need one of these action cards to actually set something up. But hey, at least I got one right off the bat. And the catacomb. Yeah, some combinations give you different weapons to use. Some of them give you status buffs. The only drawback is that you can only have one combination active at a time. Ooh. 
Mercury, is that another... Ooh, okay. And if you select, it, make, it activates it. Ah, darn you. But apparently, well... The fire thing on its own doesn't seem to do a whole lot. But I'm sure if it was something that was weak to fire, it would do a heck of a lot more. But I don't know what's weak to what either, so... And, ooh, save points. And once you actually activate something... Um, wasn't there... I could have sworn that it showed what the what the combination did. Oh well. Oh, okay. So I guess certain things are have resistances, I guess. And if you just Hold down the button, it'll continue to do damage, but at about one-tenth the normal rate. Which is good for some of these little enemies. And I guess also, if you can find a safe spot, it's good for taking out enemies that are... Uh, you know, oh, okay. It already deactivated. Fair enough. Wait, what were the buttons? Okay. Oh, it was L. Okay, I thought... Okay, there we go. I thought... I, I got my buttons mixed up, I guess. Uh... Eh, gotta be careful, because these guys can poison you, and that's... Obviously not a good thing, but they're giving me plenty of antidotes to work with. Ah. And, oh, dang, a level up already. Well, that is good. Ah. And I think there is... Is a nasty enemy. Oh, yep, there we are. You just gotta be careful. As long as I can dodge that, this guy is a non issue. There we go. I thought I had the run ability, but I guess not. Uh, ooh. Maybe that's what it... Yep, dash boots. There we go. So I have to gain an item to learn how to run. Yeah, that sounds about right. And I see the... When you hit up and attack, it does that... In my case right now, it uses the dagger. And I guess my controls are kind of sensitive. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. And I can't do anything there. Alright. I'm not even sure if this is where I'm supposed to be going right now, but it's a place I can go to and live, so I guess that's really all that matters right now. And, of course, we have the lovely zombies. Uh, I wonder if I could... Nope, nope. 
I can't just circle my whip around and just take them all out like that. Unfortunate. Oh, dang. The level ups are coming quickly. Very nice. Okay. So what do we have down here? Oh geez, another Earth Demon. I wonder. Okay, so I am doing more damage, and was that a critical? Because it just did 27 just, just right then. Oh, and I can slide right, right off the bat. I didn't need a, an ability to slide. All right. Well, that's good. But that's all I can do. All right. And as far as these like upgrades and such, I'll probably find as much as I can. 100%ing is probably not something to. Not, don't hold me to that, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's where I came in. Alright. Feels like there should be something. Aha! And that is an MP Max. Good. Uh, dang it. Hey, yeah, always be on the lookout for the secret stuff. And, nope, oh, can't do anything there. Is there anything here? No. I think that might be why that thing is resistant to fire, because it uses fire, I guess. Does there... No, there isn't a... There is no enemy thing. Ooh. Another MP Max. I would kind of like... HP max too, that would be good. If you're willing to give me one. Oh dear, need to go, need to go. Oh! You're just giving me all sorts of MP, even though I'm not really using it right now. So, and okay, yeah, at least while I'm crouching, I'm s basically safe from everything that can be knocked back. That's good. Wait, oops. It feels like I'm... Yeah, it does feel like I'm missing something. Not sure if it's important, but it definitely is a thing. Or what is hopefully a thing. A save point would be good. If nothing else, he would give me my health back. Eh? Uh... Oh, 
Okay. Okay, so there's nothing up here. Ooh, an axe. Very nice. And that's a shortcut back. Alright. Well, at least it's a good thing that I can one-shot a lot of these enemies right off the bat. Ooh, there's an HP max and another level up. Wow. And it does a full restoration. Oh, nah. At least now I know if I'm using the circle whip technique it would I'd be doing two damage to this to those skull heads so is that everything here yes dang it nope wrong way oh wait Ah, here we are. Here we are. And I have to work my way around again. Alright, this time I do have to go the top route. Okay, so those things have roughly 25 hit points. That is good, and I can one-shot the spirits with this. Techn it's, which makes this technically an easy, albeit uh, very time-consuming way of level grinding if you, if you feel so inclined. Leather armor! <laughs> 30 defense. Probably doesn't mean as much as it should, but everything, it's better than nothing. Uh, is there. Okay. I think this should be. Yes! Safe spot! And I believe the first boss is nearby. So, frankly, I'm just feel inclined, just go ahead and try to take that thing out now. Ah, didn't see you there. Oh, jeez. And that's all there was. Whoa, how did I not hit that thing? And, ooh, more hearts. Depending on how often I use my sub-weapons, that could be a very handy thing. Uh, add dagger, no thank you. I don't even know why I'm breaking the candles, because it seems like all they ever give me is hearts. Uh, let's see, is that where the boss is? No. Ooh, more, M more MP. What is my MP at right now, though? 170, alright. And there's our first boss. 
Don't know if this thing will do more damage, but it's worth a shot. Hello, Cerberus. At. Oh, dear. Oh, yay! It did do more damage. Oh, jeez. Oh dear. I'm about to die, aren't I? Yep. There I go. First death already. You know what? I'm gonna give that another go. Of course, that means I have to pick up all these things again. Alright, let's try this again. Well, at least I'm able to... Ah, darn you. Well, hey, I'm safe from you down here. Good. Well, at least now I'm not... There we go! Much better! Do I get... No, that's all... That's all that happens. But, that probably means there's something over here. Aha! Double! Ooh! Double jump already! Well, okay. Uh, at the moment, I'm wondering if there is a safe spot closer. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go this way. Oh, jeez. Cotton clothes, which I had already gotten one of if I cut that part out. Oh jeez, I, I have to, yeah, I do have to hit the coffins. Ah. At least I can hit multiple enemies in one hit. That is always a good thing. Uh, let's see, was there? Uh, oh, ha! More health! Always a good thing. Alright, so, this stairway. I'm gonna need to reconfigure my controls here, because that's not, this isn't working. Uh, I think. Is there. No, I can't even go up that way. Which probably means it's probably best for me to use the save point that's down here. Hang another level up. Wow. Alright. Well, that's a good introduction to things here, and. I guess the best way to go is up at this point. So until next time, this is Melee Wizard and have a nice day.